it is important that you understand the work of the plasma, the interaction of the plasma, the condition of the interaction, and the way we allow them to interact. Just because they are sitting on one plate, it doesn't mean they are the same at all. Because the system is connected one to the other, adds energy, is in series, means adds to its strength current flow. Because when it comes from here, in this house there is a structure which releases more energy. So when it leaves, it's already had added energy. And then they're on and forth. The same is with gravitational field. It's not just to you, the cores. The way they set up, increase the power. You can play, decreasing the gravitational or magnetic field, still get the same state of condition, but not the same exact condition. Just because the balance figure shows oxygen, it does not mean it is oxygen. You have to look at this gravitational or magnetical, then you see what kind of oxygen you have. One of the fundamental points you've got to remember, which we explain in the teaching, is how you wind your coils. Do you wind it clockwise or do you want it anti-clockwise? All this has a meaning in the work of your system. Somebody makes a system, it works, and somebody makes a system, it says it doesn't work, there is something wrong with the technology. It's just that you're not aware of it. The distance between your coils has a say in it. The gap between your layers has a say in it. How much you enforce, how much you create, what you enforce. I received a very nice text from our Chinese group in Zanjan yesterday. Have you seen powder in your old the, what do you call it, the fat boy? They are creating a confined condition, so they are producing materials, and they don't know what it is, so they want to, do I know what it is, or have I seen it? But in fact, that's what they are doing. They have started interacting, and they see different materials. That's why I said the fat boy is one of the most complete systems, but it still misses a lot of things in operation. Understand how you nanocode. Understand how you add to it. Let me explain to you something which is very, very fundamental. It's the cornerstone of your work if you have entered and walked away from what we brought in as beads, as the way the universe works, as a plasma with the springs. With a spring, I explained before in the teaching, this is the field of the plasma. When you have a plasma like this, and inside it, you have embedded, let's say, copper, like this. The copper releases nominal amount of energy because it's matter. Your nano coating, the black, because it's free, it releases more energy, has more energy available. But for you to be able to have a fairly potential system, you need a supply, a constant supply. Where does the constant supply come? Coat your nano-coated wires with the cans. Now you have the sun sitting on the line of the floor. So don't just use nano-coated wires for your springs or for your cores. Always from now on, 
put the supply next to it. This is much easier. So your GANS, you brush it on your uh, wires. You brush it on your nano coating. Because in the water where you released it, is in a free condition. Now, when you put it, it gives it a continuous flow of a given strength. If you want only copper strength nanomaterial, that's good. But if you're looking for adding, because as it comes here, it adds more energy of the gas here. And then as it goes further, there is more energy of whatever has come plus this, which is carried on the nano layer material. So your nano layer becomes your superconductor transfer of energy, and your coating of the gas on it becomes your power supply. You literally bring the sun, you're leaving it on the top. You don't need to go and look for where the energy might come that the nano layer can absorb. This is very important if you make and work with any system. Because now, not only you have the matter state of the copper to dictate what matter length you want, you have shown the flow of a conductivity in a superconductor, which means the full spectrum of the magnetic gravitational field strength, and now you have put the food on top of it. All the energy you want is available. Then you find out why the system as a power supply is so powerful. And they say, how can a little box create so much? Because we have nano coated all the layers. We take a nano coat against it. I don't go looking for energy. I put the energy there to 